Welcome everyone. Just remember before we get started, if you want to download the project links, it will be down below in the description. Just all you got to do is enter your email and it's completely free. Welcome back everyone. In this video, um, you can probably see what we're going to do and it's not too complicated, which is a main menu. All right. So in order to do this, we're going to need to create a new scene. And in this scene, we're going to have a few things. Now, the main thing is going to be uh, the actual scene itself. Now for this, we can actually just use a node as the base of this screen. Let's save, call it main menu, and we can save this in the scenes folder just in general. All right, now we'll add a few things. First, we'll add a button, and then we will add a panel, and then we will add, uh, well, we're not gonna add anything. What we'll do is we're actually going to, well, we're gonna add something, but I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So. I'm going to take my world scene and drag it in and I'm going to right click my world, make it local. And I'm going to take my tile map, drag it out and delete the world. Now this has essentially created a tile map for this world. So let me reset this. And what I can do here, uh, let's take our water and we'll kind of draw some water as our main screen. Now, obviously this isn't the best main menu screen. Uh, and you might want to go into designing your own, but this will work for what we want to do. So now we have a general background with some water and grass. And now we can rename this to main menu. We will go into our button. We'll call this play button. And we can create one more. Oh, not player. What am I doing? Uh, and we can make one more called quit. Now we'll need a script so we can make this script for our main menu. We'll create a uh, script here. Connect it in here, create, and now we'll connect our signals into our menu. So now we just connect these, and now we can take our quit. And the code for the quit is actually quite easy. All we need to do is say get tree dot quit. All right. Now for the uh, changing scenes, this is also somewhat easy. Um, all we need to do is say get tree and change scene to file, uh, and then we can load the file that we want, which is the world. And if you didn't get those uh, options, what you can do is just drag in the node or the scene that you want to uh, bring in, and there you go. Or you can right click that world or whatever scene you want to load, and there should be a copy path or control shift C, and now you can copy paste it. Okay, so now let's go back to our world here. We'll take our panel and let's uh, make it a little bigger here, put it in the middle, and then obviously we're going to want the tile map in the back. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll actually go into our layers, go into Z index here, put it negative one and put this at zero. All right, now we have the panel in front of everything. And now we can take our uh, play button, make it a little bigger, put it right there. Take our quit button, make that also a little bigger, put it right there. And in the text, we'll say quit. And in the play, we'll say play. All right. Uh, now what we'll do though, is we'll take the panel and put it behind the button. So the text doesn't look as uh, ugly, I suppose. Uh, okay. Now we can see here that we don't play right away into the main menu. So we're going to take our main menu, right click it, and we're going to hit uh, set as main scene. Now, when I hit play, we're given into our main menu so I can hit play. Okay. I don't know why I'm writing player today. It's weird, but yeah, you can see it works. So we can go into our main world which is quite pretty now. You can see that we have um, some tiles here and et cetera. So we can take some damage and die eventually. Uh, and of course, I'll probably want to del delete this little guy over here, the tile guide. And yeah, so that's pretty neat. Um, okay, I will see you all in the next uh, video where we will actually start to create custom themes. Um, we'll also create the death uh, kind of thing. So it's not going to be a main uh, death ending, uh, but essentially we're going to have a death overlay. So there's something in front of us that kind of says game over, uh, and then we'll be able to reset the level. So I'll show you, or I'll see you all in the next uh, video for that.